the tea in Nepal is very hot. But the coffee in Peru is much hotter. Take a seat, comrade. What is this all about, General? Your training is complete. From now on, you are no longer Dmitry Petrov. You are American. When the given code word is heard, you will activate, yes? Meaning, you and every other agent around will kill as many United States citizens as possible. Here is Volter. Hmm, Matthew Brown. Not what I was expecting. But this doesn't have my code word listing. Well, this must be some kind of... mistake. Well, being a secret agent with a KGB isn't all that it's cut out to be. And my ridiculous code word isn't any help. It's like somebody picked this just to screw with me. Oh well, at least I have my friend Donovan who got me this job working as a high school soccer coach. All right, let's get going, boys. Hello. Hello, you must be William, the exchange student from London. Yeah, and you must be Coach Brown. Glad to meet you, William. You play much soccer over there in London? Yes, I do play a lot of football. 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 Did it this time, buddy. Donovan, hear me out. Hear you out? You mauled a high school student. It cost me a wagon load of cash to shut that kid's blabbering parents up. <laughs> My father may be the fourth richest man in the world, but even he has his limits. I never asked you to do any of this. Well, if you want, I can have Jeeves drop you back off at the police station. No, no. So why did you maul a student? Were you hungry or something? That's why I always tell you to keep a Snickers bar on you. Ugh, I've kept this secret long enough. I can tell you, but you can't tell anyone. And I mean anyone. No one. Alrighty then. Jeeves, why don't you give me and Matt some space? Of course, Mr. Wellington. Okay, tell me what the hell is going on with you? I am a secret agent for the KGB. What? Hiring you as a spy is like getting Michael J. Fox to do a circumcision. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so you're a spy and you just attack people whenever you want to? Well, not exactly. I have a code word, and whenever I hear that, I have to kill people. So what's your code word, then? Foot. <laughs> well, that explains why you killed so many podiatrists. So why don't you just put an end to this? I can tell ambushing isn't exactly your favorite thing to do. Do you know what the KGB does to traitors? Why don't you just disappear then? You can take that job in my father's company in Tahiti I've been telling you about. Now that there would be no turning back from this. Psh, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Gee, what's the matter? Mr. Wellington is dead! What happened? <laughs> they killed him right in front of me! And what did they do? They killed him right in front of me and you are next! Yes, we need to go now! Where are they? They said they'd be here half hour ago. It doesn't matter, because in two hours, I'll be far away from here, and nobody will ever be able to find me. General Vladimir. I have seen this betrayal coming for a long time, Matthew. Vladimir, this doesn't have to end badly. You can just let me go, and you'll never have to see me again. Oh, no. I will not be letting you go. You will be an example. An example of what happens when you betray the KGB. Matt! Foot! Please. Well done, Mr. Brown. Thank you, Jeeves. Oh, I see the boat now. Here's your drink, sir. Oh, thank you, Jeeves. Would you like a foot massage, Mr. Drink? 